Kara? Kara Menard is no stranger to motherhood. She's one month away from welcoming baby number four into the world. We're looking at July the 29th. But this go round, she says pregnancy feels different. So the heat has really affected the pregnancy just with errands and going outside and bringing other children outside. Nurse practitioner Tammy Gillette says the rise in mercury is something that makes pregnant women like Kara much more vulnerable to heat related illnesses. The biggest complaints we get in the summertime is dizziness, lightheaded, they don't feel good, preterm labor, and that's from dehydration. During pregnancy, women should drink at least eight cups of water each day. Are you drinking enough water? And when it comes to staying cool and comfortable, that added baby weight can make even the most simple task unbearable on a hot day. You increase your metabolism, your heart rate goes up, and you already are carrying an extra 1200 cc's of volume which brings your core temperature up to about 99 to begin with and then in the summer months it'll bring the heat up even more so you feel more exhausted and miserable when it comes to your diet pregnancy induced hypertension oftentimes comes along with poor food choices when the temperatures rise people have a tendency to eat a little more salt than usual um, because they're dehydrated they don't drink as much as they should and they'll come in at the end with elevated blood pressure 160s. Now with just a few more weeks until this little one is born, Kara is making some summertime changes to keep herself and baby healthy. I realize I need to stay inside more and take a nap and just don't worry about outside very much, but it is kind of frustrating. I was excited about the summer and then now we have to stay in most of the time.